What's up guys, welcome back to the video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the Stussy Birkenstock collaboration. I ended up getting the Boston Clogs in the dark brown color and they look like this. They are the anthracite color. I'm not really sure how to say them. Um, these actually came out in August of like 2020, which was this year, this past summer at the end of August. And I think they were actually releasing them maybe to wear during the fall time because September is like when fall winter stuff starts to come out but yeah they came in this box and i got these off essence.com or s-s-e-n-s-e.com and they were for retail i think like 180 dollars with tax about 200 and essence is just like a website that sells luxury goods and sometimes they have really good sneaker releases that i don't really see being released anywhere else or they carry a lot of product that i don't really see at like nordstrom or or Bloomingdale's or um, any like other website that typically sells like branded sneakers or shoes. So I bought them off there and I saw them just like randomly. I didn't plan to buy them. Like I wanted them when they came out, but they were sold out really fast and um, they don't carry a lot of like the smaller sizes either, which is like very typical of like every shoe release I've ever encountered. So I don't think I was able to get them just because I was either busy or I like wasn't thinking about it. I wanted the bone color, which is this one, and that one was sold out really fast. And I wasn't like willing to pay like over two hundred dollars for like a pair of Birkenstocks, especially the Boston's. I feel like I wouldn't wear them as often. They're just like really hard to get, and I wasn't willing to wait like three to four weeks. So I was just like, okay, I'm I can deal without. So I didn't end up getting them at the time. But then I saw them on Essence and they just randomly either restocked or just listed them because I got them like three days ago and it is currently like November, November 6th or something. They came in this box and this is just like the Stussy Birkenstock box. It came like this. And these are the, oh, I can put them back. It looks like this. They were shipped within like two to three days. This is definitely not my first pair of Birkenstocks. This is my... One of my first pairs of Boston's. I actually like two days before I bought this, I ended up buying this pair of Boston's and I'm not really like sure if I want to keep these or if I want to keep the Stussy or if I'll just keep both because I don't really need both. But I got these ones and they are fur lined with um, lamb shearing, I think. These are super cozy. There's a two, two size difference between this one and the Stussy one. But these are just like also Boston clogs and then they have like the lining in the inside so very cozy for winter and fall I just don't know which one I want to keep because like well this one's like really cute and really nice I like the muted gray color but then the other one is like it's the Stussy brand and I never ever get anything for retail release like I have the worst luck with everything I think the only thing I've ever paid retail for was like probably I don't even know because I'm always late on everything and so I got these these are from Nordstrom they are $185 um, tax included but I think that's like it's okay it's like Birkenstocks last you a really long time and so I got these and then two days later I saw these on sense because I was just browsing like the um, stock page of the shoes that just the new releases on essence so I was like dude this like freaking sexes I don't know which one I want and then this one is just like the Stussy is very like, I don't know, it's a very minimal branding, which is fine. This is what I kind of like. These are a little bit smaller, like a tad bit small, but smaller than I thought I would want. But this is the only size, the size 36, and typically you would want a size down, I think in Boston's anyways, just because they run a little bit bigger in the front. These are a 38, 38, which is, I'm a 36 and a half in shoes typically. In Birkenstocks, I'm usually a 37, and so, I think these are actually just like a tad bit small. They don't look small on me, but they feel a little bit smaller. I think if I wear them though, they're gonna be broken in. And so I don't know if I wanna like keep these or if I should return them. I feel like I shouldn't return them because if I wanna buy them again, they're gonna be like so expensive and I'm probably gonna regret it. But I got these ones. Um, I don't know, which one, which one do you think I should keep? Cause they're like, oh, well, I think they're really cute, both of them. It's hard because they're not like so similar that I can just be like, oh, I'll just get this color because the color is better. Like this one is muted gray with fur lining and then this one is like the Stussy collaboration with the corduroy looking like ribbed, you know, like the clog and then I don't, the brown color is really nice for fall too and I feel like this one's more wearable but then this one is like more cozy for winter and I'm just like, 
I don't know which one I want. But yeah, I got these because they were just on the site and it was like the last one. And Essence is pretty good with like keeping livestock. I just got them because I was like, oh, like what? A, I'm never going to be able to get them for retail. And I know they've been kind of floating around other websites, but I haven't really been looking. And so when I saw it, I was just like, okay, whatever. Like I'll just get them. If they don't have it anymore, then like I'm not tripping about it. But now that I see them in person, I'm kind of like, Dude, this brown is such a mood because I also also bought this coat and then I have this freaking brown coat I just got at Aritzia from Babaton. It is the slouch coat. This is also the last one They sold out of this color online and I got this. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. This is a nice slouch coat. I feel like this would look good with this and then maybe some like trousers with like black 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 trousers or something the brown tones right now and especially i just did that video on the travis scott ones and the dark mochas and like dude like it's just like a mood okay a fall vibe i actually like really like these i know boston clogs are not for everyone everyone thinks like they just look really stupid and ugly but i actually really like them because i don't really like to show my feet um i have wider feet so it doesn't really it's not like really flattering and i have like chicken legs so i like these and they're really comfortable actually i've already tried them on a couple times um walking around the house and stuff i just like how the branding is very minimal too i don't like things with like if it says dusty like all over the shoe i would definitely not have gotten it but you can see like right here very minimal and it is a little bit darker in person. I know on the camera it's a little bit light, but I have light like kind of facing me right now. My total was about $200. And this is, I'm just going off StockX. Um, the last sale was $190. And that's like pretty typical. That's like retail and then you pay like StockX fees. The last sale for my size in the bone color is $280. I was like, dude, that's like $100 more. I mean, I guess I understand because it is like the more, more sought out color, but also White does get dirty easily and the bottoms are also wet. Yeah, I feel like these are gonna get as dirty and like I said earlier, like all my videos, I'm not really good at keeping my shoes really clean either. These were a good choice for me, but now I'm kind of wondering like, should I keep these ones and keep these ones? Cause I definitely don't need both, but you know, like gray and furry, like so fuzzy, like for the winter time and then I have these I can wear like year round. I just don't know, I don't need to spend like 300 something dollars on two pairs of Birkenstocks. $300 for a pair of Birkenstocks is definitely not worth it. You can totally just buy the normal Birkenstocks and they look literally the same. Maybe they don't have the exact color or the exact like texture like the ribbing like this, but like I bought these and I'm still contemplating between like the two of which one I should keep. I'm probably gonna end up keeping both. Like these are nice too. Like I have put on my Insta story like which one I should keep and a lot of people are saying the gray ones and both are very comfortable just just this one doesn't have the fur lining but that means just this one is more like wearable i guess this one doesn't have the fur lining but i think that's more wearable for every day especially if like it's summer or if it's winter you can like layer up with socks but the other one's definitely more cozy like for in the house so like when you're going indoors places and not more like outside you're not gonna go on, well you wouldn't even go on a hike in Birkenstocks but you know what I mean these are just the shoes like I really like them I feel like everything I buy I just like a lot I haven't had like any regrets buying any Birkenstocks I think they last a really long time I've had my last pair since sophomore year of high school and I still wear those like every day um when I'm going to the grocery store when I'm just like going on like quick like errands and stuff and if you can get your hands on like the Stussy collab for like less than $300 or like less than $250 even then I would do that because they're totally worth it like it's just very minimalistic but I think that's nice I think that's something like that doesn't come around a lot like something that's not too branded and too like all over the place like everything's kind of like stamped onto it so if you wear these out in public people will probably know that you're wearing like this dusty collaboration i hope you enjoyed this video i'm going to wear these now it's perfect for fall time perfect with this big brown coat i bought um this big brown wool coat i feel like i mean like the colors and like 
you know what I mean? Like, I feel like they would look good together. Yeah, I'm going to wear these. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am looking forward to filming so much more for this upcoming winter fall season. It reminds you of kind of like, oh, you're transitioning into winter and like that. I think that's always a great feeling to know that you're about to start the new year, even though we are in this shithole of 2020. Yeah, there's just a lot more to come. And I'm really, I really like winter releases too. Like holiday releases are always the best for anything. So yeah, I'm really excited to, to film more and I'm excited to share it with people who, who might have the same thoughts. But if you like this video, you can like it. You can share it with your friends, you can do whatever you want with it. It's going to be here for you to refer back to if you wanted to pick up the Stussy Birkenstock. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.